I have long appreciated artist costumes, such as those by Marc Chagall, Sonia Delaunay, and Robert Rauschenberg. But I've never been drawn to the media myself. However, for San Pedro 2018, I was challenged to create a costume titled About Time as a collage you want, which is a living collage, to be worn by Marco Schiedel. And when I was approached this year about designing another such costume, I enthusiastically agreed. This incarnation of the collage vivant, Ear Man, was far more complicated and technically challenging. I had to deal with the wind at Angel's Gate and wanted the costume to be both comfortable and sturdy. In contrast to About Time, my 2018 costume, which explored sound's inverse, I wanted this costume to address sound and listening directly. I created the Earman costume to make Marco into a non-binary prince or princess of sound with ear wings and a wand of ears that would encourage listening to all of the Sound Pedro performances. Earman is regal, but at the same time, his or her basic elements are made from a plastic garbage can. The costume simultaneously represents the most typically musical and the most discordant of sounds while also averting the attention of visitors from the ever-dominant visual that pervades our culture to that of sound. As the mascot of ceremonies of San Pedro 2021, Ear Man moves around the Angel's Gate landscape like notes on a page of music, pointing out all of the possibilities for sound. I now feel that this medium has become one of my own and look forward to creating more collage results in the future. I'm Phoebe Barnum. I'm a studio artist at the Angels Gate Cultural Center. I've been in, I guess, four consecutive San Pedro's in different, different uh, modes. <laughs> I guess the most recent one was with the faucets, and the, the faucets site is our, the the main faucets are in uh, the ceramics room, and they make the most extraordinary sounds. You know, like so, sort of like a little duet between the two sinks. So I started. I did my. I started recording them. My name is uh, Joelle Estelle. Um, I am a writer, ceramic artist, um, educator, and um, this project was really birthed out of um, the pandemic moment, uh, just in reflection, something we were all going through collectively. Um, and as an artist, I was really ruminating on the tool of breath and with everything with Black Lives Matter, um, you know, George Floyd, um, thinking about uh, how breath was taken from them so violently, um, and also thinking about how important breath is in terms of also just being mindful. Um, and so COVID being something that attacked our lungs as well, um, I, kind of saw this project as an intersection of all of these things that were kind of stirring in me. And so what I did was I constructed some ceramic flutes, some ocarinas, um, some instruments, some rattles, um, 
and really thinking about how um, this clay can actually sing, right? Um, and so I constructed a bunch of instruments um, in the middle uh, of the thick of the pandemic. And then really thinking after I, I had fired all these pieces um, that they needed to be activated by community. And so um, I very safely uh, dropped instruments off at folks' house, um, gifted them uh, an instrument and also a kind of creative prompting and meditation to think about, um, to activate them. And folks really did a uh, wider range of, of you know, patterns and sounds and um, really kind of that childlike excitement of holding something in your hand, um, a tool, an instrument, um, and just using your own breath to activate it and, and create music. And so um, really thinking about how a lot of our feelings sometimes can't really get articulated with words and language and music does offer us that type of maybe uh, place and space where language fails us and so that's what these instruments are really activated to do um, and I'm really excited now that the world is kind of opening up again folks are vaccinated um, that we're able to do that here um, and so tonight uh, we're really thinking about um, kind of collectively what does it mean to acknowledge land uh, these are these are made from earth these are instruments made from earth um, and as a land acknowledgement uh, we're thinking about the port we're thinking about the water um, there's just been an oil spill that we're still recovering from here uh, lots of ships that are, are kind of stuck at, at sea right now and then also just this space of being a former military space um, and so all of us are artists um, some are writers uh, teachers uh, musicians and so all of us are kind of dedicated to um, making and creating and in this time and we're really excited to do that together tonight um, to really layer all of our uh, all of our prayers, all of our meditations, and all of you know our sounds, and 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 do it you know with a lot of intention and purpose. So, thank you so much.
Hi, I am Leah Shane Dixon, and I am an artist here at Angels Gate Cultural Center. And I'm here to tell the story of one night when, much like tonight, where I came to work at my studio, and I thought, oh, just gonna be like kind of a quiet, I forget if it was a Friday or Saturday night, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go out, I'm just gonna go to the studio. But as soon as I get out of my car, I'm like, what is that unearthly noise? And where is it coming from? Like, oh my gosh, it's coming from my studio building. And I realized that in the dance classroom down the hall, there was a there was a little a little happening of experimental audio and electronic noise. Like, it's the kind of thing that's not really music. It can't be like, all right, and a one, and a two, and a. It was very like lots of lots of layers of sonic activity and they were it, I, I want to say there was at least eight or ten people that had you know their 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 instruments and their their stuff with the cables and the knobs and the sliders and sometimes like a violin bow or something kind of analog to just throw in the mix and they were like projectors and stuff i'm like oh yeah this is my kind of party you know quite honestly so um yeah and it, you know it's it's similar to some things that i've seen around like i'm not i'm not really deep into the scene but i've been to like some noise shows i have some friends that do that kind of thing and uh once actually here in this studio for Another event, uh, San Pedro, a couple of years ago, a collaborator and I, we activated my space with, you know, kind of same thing, like colored lights and projections and some layers of audio. We had a couple of things that were like, like looping in the background at all times, and then we could like add things on top of that. And that was fun. That was with my collaborator, M in parenthesis, shout out. Um, and so, yeah, it was, I, I always enjoy coming across uh, experimental audio and noise art in the wild. And I really enjoyed being down the hall listening for, for the rest of that evening after I stopped in. My name's either George Martin or Jorge Martin. So this thing in there is just, Thing called sound shock and uh, it was the idea was from a guy that's in there Joe Potts who's with the uh, LA Free Music Society and there used to be an organization called SASAS which is something like the Society for the Activation of Sound and Space or something like that so he came up with this idea of people just doing a free jam, you know, because it's hard to, you know, get people together to do this unless it's a show. So once a month over in Eagle Rock at the Art Center, Joe would set up and people would just come in and start jamming. Like first timers, professionals, people that have done this before. So it was pretty cool. Um, so as a, this little sound group, sometimes we get invited to perform at different events. So I think this is our first get together. I think since the last sound, sound Pedro that was actually on site. I think we were in this building now. What was that? Two, three years ago. So...